Okie dokie boys and girls, uh, this is going to be very wibbly wobbly so hold on to your hats. I'm shooting this handheld, don't know how well that's going to work. Um, right, so more drill sharply stuff. Um, in order to be able to index my drills correctly, last weekend I made up what's it, effectively a collet block. Now this is a collet block for ER11 collets, for my super shit ER11 collets. It was uh, taken from a piece of wood because it's just a piece of it's a temporary temporary test piece basically. Um, so that was bought down the centre 8mm um, and then propped up in the mill and squared off properly. Um, then I took my cheap uh, cheap Chinese cheap Chinese collet uh, collet extension thing, chopped the arse end off of it, which it, uh, was actually surprisingly made out of woodpecker lips. Um, are you going to come out now? I think you might. There's an awful lot of thread on these things, isn't there? Um, yeah, so chop the chop the stem off it, um, pretty much, and then bored through that to seven millimeters or seven and a half millimeters with a uh, carbide end mill, um, because nothing else would touch it. Like I said, woodpecker lips. So what we have now, effectively, is a collet block where the collet nut does not overhang the end and that will become important later but um, yeah and that will hold my little ER11 collets which are shit but they're good enough for sharpening with um, and that has enabled me to do some I hope, I hope this is focusing properly yeah uh, that's enabled me to do some sharpening on smaller smaller drills this is a six mil that I did and I don't think we're going to be able to see that properly unless we cheat. I don't know whether this is going to focus, but there is a magnifying glass now. Let's see whether I can get in on that. Can we see the end of that? I don't know. I hope so. Um, I think, yeah, I think we can see that actually. That's, that's quite neat. Ooh, super macro sort of thing. Anyway, so um, I've managed to get down again. This is uh, this is all still freehanding, of course, um, and working with a magnifying glass uh, for the smaller drills. I've managed to get down to four mil quite happily. Um, I did a three mil that's uh, that's yeah still cutting quite nicely, but uh, at three mil we start needing to have repeatable um, repeatable depths, which is where this came in comes in which is this is a depth stop which is going to replace the horrible piece of angle iron um, basically we knock a couple of holes through here it's got an 8 mil slider in here with a little piece of a uh, little little piece of nubbin brazed onto it and a 6 mil thread to uh, to lock it to lock it uh, to lock it to depth the idea being that we set this to depth and then oh, we can slide the collet block up against it and we know that we're at good depth so I can grind up until there and then oop, flip over grind up until there and, and we're done um, we'll see how that goes um, I'm going to finish that off this morning and um, and we'll have a crack at uh, have a crack at sharpening some little drills but I'm going to chuck this up now and, um, and there we go so catch you later boys and girls